Gervonta Davis is an American professional boxer. He has held multiple world championships, including the WBA lightweight, the IBF super featherweight title, the WBA super featherweight title twice, and the WBA super lightweight title in 2021. He's scheduled to fight Ryan Garcia on April 15, 2023. And this is one of the most anticipated fights of 2023. The showdown between these two has been building for some time due to an out of the ring rivalry. I mean, the drama between these two is getting a little bit crazy. So the fight is supposed to be one of the best ones, you know, coming up, right? Right. And there's been a reported altercation at a nightclub between Gervonta and Ryan. A lot of verbal back and forth on social media. So it's definitely a highly anticipated fight. Both Davis and Garcia are unbeaten with a combined 51 wins and 45 knockouts. So this definitely is a fight that you don't want to miss. I mean, the last fight that Gervonta Davis had against uh, Hector Garcia was pretty good. I mean, if you look at the fight and you know, all those hooks, all those jabs and everything, he picked him out really good. His boxing IQ is extremely good. That's right. He's got a very effective and efficient attack. That helped him take control of that last fight against Hector. That's right. Davis is effective and efficient in his attack, which helped him to really control the fight and win over Hector. Um, he had some powerful punches. And in the eighth round... That eighth round, I mean, you can tell that he was throwing some really hard punches right in the head. And they were really destructive. I'm really glad that uh, Hector Garcia's team has stopped the fight because some of those punches could have damaged, you know, or done some damage on Hector Garcia's head. Yeah, Hector was clearly injured, so it is a good call there to stop the fight. Um, you can see through this fight Garcia's technique and how he fights. In the first four, I'm sorry, the first three rounds, he landed only four power punches. So yeah. he was taking that time. But... I mean, those punches, you have to, I mean, everybody have to see that this fight coming up against Ryan Garcia. I mean, Ryan Garcia is pretty fast. And we can always, you can actually tell he's really fast, especially some of those punches are very effective, very accurate, and very fast. But man, the high boxing IQ that Gervonta David has is really, really hard to beat. Yeah, that's right. Like I was saying in the first three rounds of the fight against Hector, he only landed four power punches. So he was clearly taking that time to see how Hector fights. Um, he kind of baits on his opponent to figure out where his weakness is. And then in the next rounds, four through eight, he connected in 69 um, punches. So there's a clear difference between the beginning of the fight and the end of the fight and the way that he fights, his IQ for boxing, how he analyzes his opponent. So that gives him a definite advantage over most opponents. I mean, in my point of view, I think Gervonta Davis, you know, has a little bit more experience than Ryan Garcia. I mean, you can actually start talking about it and debate what's going on here, but at the end, I think uh, Gervonta Davis, ooh, he does have some of those, you know, right hooks that are extremely dangerous. Yeah, that's, he, he does. They're both they're both super powerful and super fast. Um, but Davis being a southpaw and also very good with his right attack as well, and he's got the uppercut. You just never know what's going to come from from Davis, so you really have to be careful when you're fighting him. Yes, I mean, like, uh, you can actually tell the way his feet, the way he moves, the way he switch, you know, positions, the way he, uh, I mean, he does have that, you know, defensive mechanism and he always, always stares at the boxer, just hoping to see what kind of mistake, you know, that opponent is going to make. And then he makes him pay with a counter attack. And those counter attacks are incredibly vicious. I mean, you can see that, uh, I mean, those punches that he does, like, and uh, the speed, the combination, the combos, you know. Well, and I think the way he fights is part of his growing up, his upbringing, because he did grow up in a very rough neighborhood in Baltimore, Maryland. Most uh, adolescents there do end up in jail or dead, unfortunately. So he was kind of growing up with that sense of, I've got to fight for my life, which I think shows through that his... That makes him an extremely dangerous fighter. You're right. He does have the heart that he never gives up. Even when he gets rocked, you know, by the opponent, you can see, you know, he always finds a way to, you know, find that, that foot movement, you know, and everything. And, and that's when he confuses the opponent.
Yeah, definitely do not miss out on this fight between two powerhouses, Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia, both unbeaten. Again, combined wins of 51 with 45 knockouts. This is a fight of the year. You're not going to want to miss it. Let's not miss that fight. But more importantly, though, please click on that subscribe button. Click on the notification bell so you can get more notifications for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.